This is the version that's for a heated build plate. They also have a version that's for a non-heated one. And then same thing for this. This is the hot version, but there's also a cold version, just depending on what type of printer that you have. I wasn't able to pop it off, but I think that might be because this piece is so thin that it's really flexible, so it just flexes with the plate. I was able to pry it off of the bed with my fingernail, and then there's just a slight residue left behind, or maybe a discoloration, I'm not sure. I think maybe it was over here just slightly. The back of the piece is super glossy, but it has a really just slight overall texture. For testing purposes, I'm cleaning the plate between each print with some alcohol to remove any residue. Bed temperature, I'm going to put it down to 50. And I'm also gonna just get a different model because this is so small and flat and the tea glass is pretty flexible at that side. It's not a super rigid filament. I would really like to see this pop off the build plate from flexing like in the uh, sample video. So we'll give that a go. whitening there. I'm not sure if it might just be residue from the material. It's a very nice finish though. It's got the tiniest bit of sort of a wide space texture to it. Nice and shiny. And it did release just from flexing the plate so that's nice to be able to do that. Not permanently bonded, it's just not as easy to take off. Oh, there we go, okay. Wow, all right, so I think that we need to do another test on that because the brim made it harder to get off. It wouldn't pop off. And I don't think I needed the bed as hot as it was, but overall, let's still call that a pretty successful with regards to the bonding. This is a nice surface. I think it pulled off maybe tiny bit of the surface. So definitely over adhesion is more of a concern than under adhesion with the polycarbonate. Change this down to 50. Remove the brim. Of course, gotta turn off that cooling fan. I did move this to a slightly different spot. I don't want it to kind of get stuck on the same parts where it already kind of damaged the surface a tiny bit. I stopped this print because it was starting to warp a little bit and I just popped it off really easily. So I think it just needs to have the Build plate maybe a little bit higher, going from 90 to 50 was pretty extreme. Once again, I aborted it because it's still peeling up a little bit. Same side here. Just a little bit of warping on that side. So I think maybe it does need the brim, just with less build plate temperature. It's all fully cooled. So now I'm gonna see if changing the bed to 50 is gonna give me the ability well, that wasn't too bad at all. I didn't even have to take the plate off and flex it. This is absolutely the best result with polycarbonate that I've had so far, and it's on a surface that doesn't even advertise itself as being for uh, polycarbonate, so it's fantastic. And I don't see, now that I've revised my settings, I don't see any damage to the surface whatsoever, other than just the same slight little changes in the coloration that I had from other prints in different filaments. So. There was a little bit of damage here where I had it over it here, just a tiny bit. I don't think it's anything that's gonna seriously impact the effectiveness of the plate. Beautiful. That's the PC Max. No cooling fan, bed at 60, and a brief. Lovely. zero effort to dry this filament out. I really don't use it, but just thought it'd be interesting to try a nylon, so woohoo! Looks like it's sticking. We got a nice snap, crackle, and pop of wet nylon going on, and it's starting to warp on the sides there, so I'm gonna go ahead and cancel this one and try just jacking up that temperature a little bit. 
Okay, that left some residue. Sure was stuck on, my goodness. So, uh, 90 with <laughs> some extra extrusion was a little bit too extreme, but metal on sticks. I'm just putting out a camera mount. Oh, okay, well, it comes off nicely. Looks like it could have did have a little more extrusion on the bottom. I like it to all be fully stuck together and whatnot, but that's fine. I was afraid of getting it overstuck, but that was very, very easy to take. Oh, no bed heat. Next, I printed an auto mail bracer. Esun polycarbonate adhered perfectly to the Gecko Tech for the whole print, and it released cleanly. Unfortunately, the filament itself had serious interlayer adhesion issues on this model. This is a second bracer that's done with the Polymaker Polymax filament. It printed out really, really nicely. No supports, very little stringing here, just one little bit here, and it stayed stuck really well on the bed. Let's see if we can get this off. I did put it up to 65 just to give it a couple extra degrees of stick. Comes off really nicely, and it's cool. The bracer printed from the Polymaker filament came out a lot better than the Eason. There's still a couple of little areas where the layers separated and cracked, but they're localized and not cracking through the whole piece. So I think maybe this could be tweaked a little bit to get successful prints, even with this really skinny, tall model. With regards to sticking to the build plate, Gecko Tech is the way to go for this polycarbon. It's been so easy to work with, and it's so nice to finally have the polycarbonate sticking to something without having to go to extreme temperatures.